it's important to the state of Delaware uh, because when a person has voting rights and other constitutional rights restored to them and yet is prohibited by, uh, from getting adequate employment or even housing anymore uh, because of a record, it behooves uh, the state to make it easier to expunge a person's uh, record. When a formerly incarcerated person or convicted felon is not able to access an expungement or pardon, there are immediately two levels of ramification, two very, very serious pains that individual will deal with. One of them is psychological. Uh, we live in a society that says, uh, we will restore you. We, we, we will forgive you. Uh, we've given you a sentence that uh, will allow you to come back, prove yourself, rehabilitate yourself, prove yourself to the society you live in. Yet we're unforgiving with the fact that it happened. And so psychologically, the person then uh, walks around with a feeling of unfairness or guilt because of it, which can cause both emotional uh, uh, problems and low self-esteem. So that's the, the uh, psychological level. On the spiritual level, every uh, faith or belief system uh, known to man has an article of principle of restoration. All right, and so uh, the Bible, for instance, in my own uh, religious preference says, uh, if a brother be overtaken in a fall, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, right? So there again, they don't feel, we don't feel adequate or having uh, access to even the biblical uh, right or privilege of uh, restoration and so all of the other uh, horrid events that happen to anybody anybody who has been formally incarcerated uh, now apply not able to gain uh, uh, to get gainful employment not able to be hosted by a grandmother or baby mama or relative who may be living in uh, WHA property or some other HUD housing. Uh, this is a, a tragedy for individuals who sincerely, who sincerely want uh, to uh, contribute to society as an example of their uh, uh, sorrow for what they did. This is why I ran for mayor, not necessarily to win the office, but to expand our base, uh, myself being a convicted felon, yet having an executive pardon, even a pardon in the state of Delaware is not really a pardon because with that pardon, uh, I was told you, you, you're prohibited by the legislature or Delaware law from running for mayor, yet I ran. So, so from our perspective, the, the, the black man who comes home uh, from incarceration has made a significant change both in his heart and in his intellect who refuses uh, to be denied an opportunity to contribute to society, uh, goes for that expungement, goes for that pardon, and keeps on keeping on trying until it happens. Uh, May 21st. Uh, I've collaborated with uh, Zero Poverty uh, for what we're calling a clean up what I messed up weekend. Uh, because of the significant number of African American males particularly, but Delawareans in general, of people who are uh, dealing with uh, bad records or police records or incarceration records and can't seem to uh, get expungements and pardons. Uh, this is a growing population um, who are faced with uh, unemployment and other issues solely because uh, they may have had a felony or been formally incarcerated. And so this weekend will bring together uh, a number of attorneys uh, who have relationships with uh, zero poverty. And these attorneys will 
not only clarify and explain the process of expungement, but in the afternoon session of the day, they will in fact work one-on-one -on -one with every registered uh, uh, client or person to secure their uh, pardon or expunge.